Yeah, uh, my name's Derek Houston. Um, I've just graduated in international journalism. Um, I also run a business called Photo Mojo, which is a, it's a photo booth business. So we provide contemporary designs and we use that as a branding and marketing tool for big corporations. Well, initially, in a, in a stage, obviously, you have to have the idea and you have to be confident that that is a workable idea. Once I felt that I had that, um, the next stage for me was the funding. Because you can't really do anything without money. So this was initially something that I thought I, I would never achieve unless I just worked and worked for years. Um, but there was a government scheme that came out recently. Um, you were able to apply for up to £8,000, I, I believe. Um, so I applied for that after hearing about it here in the university. Uh, got the funding, I got £6,000, which I have to pay back over four years, but it, um, it's really low interest rates, so it's, it's really good for me. And then I, I also won the, um, me, the Student Entrepreneurship Award at UCLan, uh, which gave me £800, which really helped out with product development. So yeah, after the funding, I was kind of set to go. Um, so yeah, built the product and tested it here at the university. And since then, I've just been kind of going with the flow, I guess. Um, people are generally just very, um, just very interested in, in what it is. Like they're very uh, intrigued. Like actually, what what is this? And what is it? Does it do? Because the nature of a design is kind of like a big iPhone, um, and they're kind of like, what is that weird thing doing in the room? But once they actually come and in, interact with the product, um, you know, there's a lot of smiles and once they realise that they get the photos and they can share the photos, people really love that because they can, I don't know, I think people love self-indulgence, <laughs> to be honest, and once they realise that that can fulfil that, then it, they really liked it. Yeah, definitely. I think it's been great for me coming from a university environment for the last three years, working with journalists. We do group work, but it, it's mainly self-study and you're only working with journalists and students. So it's been great for me to work within multidisciplinaries, um, coders and designers and artists and journalists and just to just to see what the dynamics are of working together in a team in the startup environment is something that is of interest with me and is something that I would really like to continue doing in the next few years. The biggest lesson I've learned is, it, it, it's a tough one, I, th I think, um, I don't know, just, just um, be prepared for the day in and the day outs. And um, the, the biggest challenge is probably not asking for as much money um, as I needed. Because once the, all the money was allocated to, uh, to something. So once the product was built, I basically had a very limited budget to actually get the product out there and market it and start, make it so that I had a sort of organic um, revenue stream coming in from orders rather than having to go to trade shows and having to go to places for free just to get it, gather interest. So I think, I think the biggest challenge was like lack of money just to continue uh, pushing the business forward.